Yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Have you found the pen? Oh, I think so. Like we had the Instagram before when it was predominantly like so. I'm not much of a flower girl, guys, but when I tell you guys that I have like beans, of course I'm amazing. Nine, so nine. God, in less than ten minutes, nine 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 had best element, all the nurses, the history that I had a solid team at work. It reminds me hospital, hospital. I felt a bit emotional because each time I get. hey guys welcome back to the channel baby girl is here if you're joining me for the first time my name is von vicky turks and here i give you guys lifestyle health content any topic that interests me and i know it's going to interest you guys ham your vlog okay so today's video is proudly sponsored by john bros john bros john bros john bros it's probably sponsored by Kiri Lala. Okay. Come on. Give it up for the packaging. I love me a good packaging. Anyway, Kiri Lala is an accessory brand and they reached out to me to gift me these lovely items in this box. And we're going to be seeing what is in this box. Now, one thing I'll tell you about Kiri Lala, as usual, whenever I have a good customer service, that's the first thing i plug you guys with or on because customer service is very important especially if you're going to be spending your money on an item and secondly they have amazing accessories and jewelries and what have you oh my god this packaging is everything so when you open the big box you can see the way they pack this up like a gift set so you can just give this to your loved one you can ask for it to be in a gift box and just gift it to your girlfriend your mom your sister gift it to me because my birthday is coming up soon okay so kirilala thank you so much for lovely packaging i love it and it also comes with oh my god jewels are like a second skin a girl can never have enough jewelry and which is true and here is written i am invited we're going to be finding out what we are invited to okay it also comes with a gift bag as i said in case you just want to gift somebody and you don't want to gift with the whole box you're going for like a party you can put it in this gift bag and gift it and this is just to maintain the jewelry and everything that comes in this box thank you kirilala i love it and this bag is so cute oh my goodness i love me a brand that is that that think about the audience okay because i can decide not to use this i can decide to gift it to someone and i already have a package to use in gifting it so let's see what i'm actually invited to and in here it says how to take care of your jewelry i said i love me a brand that thinks properly and thinks effectively and thinks into the future and so when you buy your jewelry you have your guide your tips your safety booklet on how to take care of it and it also comes with this silver polished cloth so that you can you know clean your jewelry before you store it oh my god i love me a brand that thinks in the future for the future or in the future or into the future so this is what the gift box looks like so when you open this this is so oh my god this is so pretty my goodness this is so beautiful i don't know if you guys can see it i love this i have this jewelry yeah look at it you see that cross you see the way it's shiny and this is a gold jewelry i love it Ooh, ooh, girl. Mm-mm. Honey. I remain a girl's best friend anytime, any day. And it also has a ring. Oh my goodness, this ring is pretty. My fear in ordering ring is that sometimes they don't enter me, but oh, oh, a wedding ring will look good on the girl. What do you guys think? 
this is what the ring looks like and it is so so beautiful i love it i love it i love it i love it my battery is flashing at me i can't wait to rock this i can't wait to fix my nails i'm looking at scrumptious and wear like a dress that's going to show my jewelry and all that but you see this box is going to be with me for life trust me when i say it's going to be with me because i love it so if you want to get nice jewelries that are affordable durable please use the link in my description box to get something for yourself use my discount code to get yourself 10 or 15 percent discount is going to be on the screen and Thank me later when you've gotten yourself amazing, amazing jewelries from Kiri Lala. I'll see you guys in the course of the video. Heal this and subscribe and shop, okay? Always uh, uh, support with shorts in between just to keep yeah. you engaged. Uh, predominantly like photos and a post and something like that. So you can do... You're a wonderful, inspiring person and uh, the, all the very best. Thank you. I'm going to miss you. I wasn't Aww. expecting this to be our last conversation, but thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Thank hey you guys, so much, welcome back again to the channel. How is everyone actually doing? How are we all doing? Welcome back. The new background, and <laughs> I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I'm feeling the vibe, but I came to the park to make this video. Unfortunately, it's a Sunday, so the park is actually filled up. Okay, and this is just the place I can carve out for myself anyways let's get straight into why we're here today so few days ago right now i'm all smiling i'm looking better few days ago i wouldn't have believed it that i would be i would be sitting down here making this video first of all before we get into the story because this is story time i just want to tell you guys how the nhs saved me and this is for those people that talk ill about the nhs or oh, the nhs is not trying Oh, the nhs is not doing what they're supposed to do in, a, in in some of my videos in the past i've told you guys that the nhs works and when you have an emergency you will see the nhs in all their glory okay again i've seen people come out online and say don't be friends with your colleagues your colleagues are not your friends your colleagues are not these stay away from your colleague just come to work carry your face do what you need to do blah 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 listen where you work is practically your second home okay because for someone like me that do a 13 hour shift i practically spend half of my week at work and half of my hours at work so that's practically my second home if not my first home because by the time i get home i just get to eat i get to sleep and i just get to unwind from the day but by the time i wake up till the time before the time i get to bed i'm practically at my workplace so my workplace might even sometimes turn out to be my first home if case if i do say so myself so apparently i'm going to tell you guys in this video by the time i narrate my story i hope you guys will see a reason why you should have a cordial relationship with your workplace for me personally at this point my workplace is my semi-family and another thing I have to tell you guys is always pray for the kind of people you have in your workplace. And you as a person, be a good person. Don't bring bad vibes. Don't bring bad energy. Do what you need to do. Don't go to work. I see people going to work and they they start um, coming face even from the house. And they're already having one or two persons in their mind. Listen, when I have issues at work, I personally make sure that I trash it out before i leave that workplace you can never come to my workplace and see that me and someone are quarreling i've had people come to my face and tell me oh you're so happy why are you extremely happy when you come to work i still see that individual or see that set of people i still greet them i'm still cordial with them and it makes my life easy now let's get straight into the story of why i am here and how the nhs how the nhs saved my life and how my colleagues are the best set of individuals that i have come across in the united kingdom okay this very day i went to work hale and hearty i had no issues i had no problems resumed my shift in my usual way of resuming my shift you know came to work and i i was doing what i need to do so all of a sudden boom i started coughing really badly okay something actually triggered it 
I started coughing really badly and I had a colleague there. She asked me what was wrong. I couldn't even talk. She rushed me to the clinic and the cough became bad. Okay. All necessary protocols were put into place. That very day, I saw my colleagues be the best version of themselves. Like, I don't even know where to start from. I don't even want to imagine that that incident happened to me while I was at home. I don't want to even imagine it where people would say, oh, I met a couple, I met a lady at the hospital who came from her own hospital to the um to the clinic and she was by herself i'm like why is no one here with you and she was like our colleagues don't really care that much and it just made me realize that i am blessed by the best set of human beings of course i'm amazing so god cannot give me a less amazing set of people when my colleagues rushed in they made sure they did everything that they could do for me and they called 999 in less than 10 minutes 999 were there and everything all protocols were put into place okay like I, I i i my manager god bless that woman she was in her best element all the nurses the hcas they were in their best element that day my consultant at my workplace she was there like i have a team i have a community like it reminded me that I had a solid team at work. It reminded me that despite all our buzz bulls, buzz bulls, every damn human being that works in that workplace looks out for one another. Anyways, the ambulance came and they rushed me to the hospital and they started checking out for my vital signs, what was wrong with me. Like when the, when the ambulance came, they came with their stretcher. The stretcher is a bed. They took me to the hospital and when i got to the hospital i felt a bit emotional because each time i get sick like this i always have my family members around and it made me just realize that when god said two heads are better than one he wasn't lying back home in nigeria we have a lot of outlets where we go to not feel our problems basically like we have those out i can be single for years in nigeria and not really feel it because there are loads of outlets for me to do things i could my sister and her kids could be my outlet me going out every day could be an outlet me knowing that people will stop me on the road and check me every day would be an outlet if you do get what i'm saying but here it makes me understand that you need your own person you need your own people you need to be surrounded by your own people your own i don't know you need to be surrounded by your own family basically you need your better half and i immediately called my friends that day and i told each and every one of them if you have a nice person around you don't let it go because if i were to have been at home and that happened to me i really don't know what my fate would have been by now and this is for me telling you guys that whatever you work please and please and please and please make sure you maintain a healthy relationship if you listen to my previous videos i had always said that no matter how you want to leave an employer make sure you live in a peaceful manner you don't need to fight state your rights state policies if you if need be but you don't need to fight you don't need to leave and you don't need to have a bad reputation at my workplace there are times people get to my get on my nerves but i still make sure that i maintain a cordial and a good relationship anyways when i got to the hospital okay they started checking my vital signs i was really tired my breathing was all over the roof they had to take my blood they have to take my blood to check my oxygen level they had to do a lot of things for me my colleague who left work who had come from her house for 7 a.m to finish her shift by 8 a.m had to be in the hospital with me till almost 10 p.m at night then I had another colleague who came to check on me to bring stuff for me. Like it was so amazing. And thank you to this very kind man who also came to my aid, like looked after me for, after, like took me away from the hospital, washed over me for a couple of days until I got back to my feet and I was able to go to church today. I'm so thankful. I'm thankful I'm surrounded by people who actually do care, okay? Although I expected more from people, but from some other people, but humans will be humans. Anyway, summary of this story is to tell you that 
the NHS works is to tell you that you should always have a good and cordial relationship with your colleagues at work. Stop listening to people online that are probably fighting their colleagues that come here to tell you, oh, it's your workplace, don't make friends. I've made good and good and reasonable friendship out of my workplace. Like, I don't even want to cry, but my team members, if you guys ever come across this video, you guys are the absolute best. You guys, may God bless you guys for me. May you guys never be put to shame. May you always have help at the time of your need. May you never be in a position where you can't get help. May you guys continue to live and you guys continue to be happy and you guys get everything that you've always required. I pray that the good Lord Almighty will bless you guys because you guys don't even know what you guys did for me. Like, I see you guys differently. I don't know about you guys, but you guys are my real fa family right now. You guys are the solid team. Efe, for the flowers, for you coming to visit me, me, she sent me flowers. She didn't have to do that, but she came to see how I'm actually doing. God bless each and every one of you. To the NHS, ha! To the ambulance team of the NHS, when I do well, you guys are the absolute best. Like, you... Hmm. Ah, 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 thank you so much. Thank you to the United Kingdom. You have been a source of inspiration to me. You have helped me in ways that I did not know that I could be helped. You have made me see that there is more to life. You've made me see that things can actually work. You've made me understand that there is a system that can actually work. And this is to my Nigerian people, my Nigerian government. Put a system in place that can work for your people, for can work for your citizens. The United Kingdom has been the absolutely had been the absolute best thing that has happened to me in the past few years I have lived here. Health wisely, financially, physically, mentally, the way I think about things. I've had my down moments, but I'm one person that always dwell on the positive side of things. Okay. So I'm well, I'm better, I'm functioning better. I still have a bit of breathing issue at the moment, but it's nothing to worry about. To my parents, to my siblings, oh my God, those people, you guys are A1. You guys already know. I don't even need to come here and start telling you, I start saying, oh, my parents are the absolutely best because you guys are the absolute best, okay? My siblings, Zuby, ah, ah, sees Grace, oh my God. You guys, you guys, you guys came through for me, okay? So, I just want to tell you guys that, and another thing that I do, and I would like to tell you guys is say a prayer before you go to work. Pray that you will have a good relationship with your colleagues. Pray that you don't be in a place where you don't get help. That's one prayer, Psalm 93, Psalm 23. These are short verses or sh short portions in the Bible. Pray it every morning. Say, God, please, as I step away from this house, make me have a good, cordial relationship with my colleagues at work. Help us to work as a team. Help us to work as a family. Help me to not fall into troubles that I can't get out of. You need to say this prayer constantly in your head. Make sure that God positions you and puts you where you need to be. God, that's what they say. God, please, oh, if something is happening at the back, let me be in front. If it's happening in front, let me be at the back. If it's happening at the front and the back, let me be in the middle. If it's happening at the middle, let me be either at the front or at the back. Position me in a place where I can find helpers. Position me where people can come to my rescue. Position me where I will not be struggling. Do not give me something I cannot handle. Bless me today. Bless my patients. Bless my co-workers. Bless my managers. Bless the team I'm going to work with today. Let us all work in love. Let's work in light. You be the positive energy. Bring that positivity into work. Like, I don't know. You if 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 you don't have these prayers. I don't know. You should start it every blessed day. Instead of going to work and feeling that people are against you or people are after your life. You don't need that. I just came out here to share this little story of mine just to encourage somebody out there and to let you guys know that the system where you find yourself in is actually working. It might be slow, it might be delayed, but when you have a life-threatening issue, oh my God, you're going to see these people in their elements and I'm not joking about it. Another thing is not even just having a life-threatening issue. Make sure the person putting that call through 999 lets them know the severity of what your issue is. Because somebody can call, oh, she's coughing. How severe is that? Do you get me? And there's a different, oh, she's coughing. She's not breathing properly. Oh, she's had oxygen, blah, blah, blah. 
that's a severity so let us not take these things for granted anyways i'll still go see my gp to do like general checks up check uh, to do some checkup on me and know how i'm feeling if i'm feeling better and yeah i feel better so let's not have any pity party just be in the comment section and say thank you lord for the life of queen victoria okay i'll see you guys in my next video remember always pray always love and live by my three l's which is live love and let go live where you can live love as much as you can love and let go of things that you cannot change or you cannot handle until next time my babies i would i hope to see you guys in a much better mood okay so let's go home ciao <laughs>